are the features of this uh, white and these are the feature of the brown. I'm using two strands of yarn because I want that the texture of my hat will be very very strong because I, re I need a rigid hat. You can use also just one strand of yarn but of course this yarn must be uh, big enough to be worked for example with a 7 or 8 millimeters crochet hook but instead you will use a 5.5 in this way you will have a very strong uh, texture I'm starting with a magic ring and uh, I'm using at first my 5.5 millimeters crochet hook magic ring chain one and now 12 half double crochet into this ring one two, three and so on till 12. When your 12 half double crochet are ready pick up this yarn pull it like that so you close your ring and slip stitch to join into the first half double crochet of this round and your ring is uh, joined like that chain two which takes the place of the first half double crochet yarn over and now into the same stitch where you did the two chains i'm going to do a half double crochet like that now i have to do two half double crochet in each one of the stitches so one and two one and two one and two one and two into the same stitch at the end of this round i will get 24 half double crochet end of this round slip stitch to join into the second chain you did at the beginning of this round like that now round three chain one this time which does not count as a half double crochet but is just a starting chain yarn over and now do one half double crochet into the first stitch like that now my increasing pattern will be one two one two one two so into the second chain now i have to increase and i'm doing half double crochet two times one and two into the next one not so just one half double crochet one into the next one two one and two now go ahead like that just doing one two one two one two till the end of this round you will get at the end of this round 36 half double crochet at the end of this round three slip stitch to join into the first half double crochet of this round like that so 
you have to care not to join into the first chain but into the first half double crochet like that round four you just have to repeat 36 half double crochet no increases so chain one and now do half double crochet one in each stitch all the way around like that okay next round my pattern will be one one two one one two one one two so i have to increase after each two half double crochet so starting with chain one half double crochet into the first stitch just one now into the next stitch just one half double crochet and now after two half double crochet after two stitches i have to increase and do half double crochet two times into the same stitch so one and two now i have to repeat all the way around one one and two go ahead doing one one two one one two one one two all the way around at the end of this round you will get 38 double crochet like that at round six you just have to repeat 48 half double crochet no increases at round seven we have to increase after each three stitches chain one to start so now one half double crochet into the first stitch half double crochet into the next one half double crochet one into the next one and now after one two three stitches i have to increase so four and five then six seven eight and now nine and ten into the same stitch at the end of round seven you get 60 half double crochet okay now i'm ready for round eight at round eight i have to do 65 half double crochet so i have to increase five times i will do my increase on stitch number 10 you see that when i did my 10th half double crochet into the same stitch i'm gonna do a second half double crochet and i will do that on stitch number 10 20 30 40 and 50 in this way i have five more half double crochet totally 65 if you are using a different uh, yarn kind and a different hook size of course you will have a different numbers of rounds and a different number of stitches in that case you should consider that you have to reach increasing round after round a diameter of 20 centimeters corresponding to about 8 inches okay 8 inches round after round increasing okay now from the next round you will stop 
increasing, okay? After reaching a diameter of 8 inches, at next round, for me will be round number 9, I will repeat the same number of stitches. So I'm gonna do again 65 half double crochet. No more increases, no more increasing, okay? Just repeat the same number of stitches for the following round, round 9. Round 10, now we have to change our uh, hook from 5.5 millimeters to 5 millimeters. And now chain 1 and I'm doing one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So totally 65 single crochet. Like that. Now go ahead repeating 60 sing, six, 65 single crochet at each round till round 14 included. Okay friends, I am at the end, I want to show you, at round 14. Okay, now I have uh, at round 15 to start decreasing. It's very easy because I have to decrease first only five stitches, doing just I did the same method for increasing last time. So I just have to decrease on stitch number 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. I show you. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I have to decrease uh, just doing two single crochet finished together. So one, two, finished. That's my decrease. You have to do that on stitch number 10, 20, 30, 30 and 50. So that at the end of this row you get 60 single crochet. So this is the end of round 16. I did my decreases on 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50 and now I get 55 single crochet. Now I have to repeat um, 55 single crochet till round 18 included. Okay, we are now at round uh, 50, uh, sorry, say 50. <laughs> we are now at round 19. This will be the last round before we start uh, doing the brim. So during this last round, uh, round we have to decrease another five stitches so from 55 to 50 decreasing on stitch number 10 20 30 40 and 50 okay always with the same method so three four five six seven eight nine and now on ten you decrease decrease ten okay at the end of round 19 i have to cut the yarn and fix my work like that because now i have to restart working into another stitch okay now we are ready to start the brim this is my stitch 
where I closed my work, now I have to count 13 stitches on the left and 13 stitches on the right and put two stitch markers. Okay? 13 on the left and put the stitch marker on stitch number 13. 13 stitches on the right and put the stitch marker on stitch number 13. Okay? Now we start working here from the stitch number 13. Okay? With a new yarn. Okay, so now we start working on the left on the stitch number 13 with <coughs> chain 1 and single crochet 1 into the same stitch where we did the first chain. Now into the next one single crochet 1 into the next one single crochet 1 again. And now into the next one I have to increase because for this round I have to increase after each three stitches. So into the next stitch I'm going to do single crochet two into the same stitch. Then single crochet one, one, one and now two one and two one 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 and now two into the same stitch one and two go ahead like that till you reach the other stitch marker okay now i'm quite near the stitch marker now I have to increase here, one and two, here just one, and now here into the stitch of the stitch marker, just one. Okay, and put again your stitch marker into the new stitch like that. Okay, now I have another 24 stitches left. Why did I put two stitch markers? Because I have to uh, define two different areas. This area will be for the front side and this will be for the back side of my hat. So the front side of this brim will be uh, wider and the back uh, not uh, will be also shorter uh, so now i have to go ahead doing single crochet one in each one of the 24 stitches left without any increase Okay, because this is the back side of my head. So now I'm doing single crochet one normally in each stitch all across the row till I reach the starting point and I close this round slip stitching as usual. At the end of this round slip stitch into the first single crochet to join like that okay I'm ready now for the second round of my brim starting from here I'm doing all half double crochet without increasing till I reach the next stitch marker so half double crochet in each stitch of previous round but only till I get the next stitch marker like that okay when I reach the stitch marker I did the last half double crochet I put the stitch marker 
on the new last half double crochet and now I'm doing for the 24 stitches left 24 single crochet till the end of this round so on the back side of my hat I'm doing single crochet on the front side of my hat I did half double crochet okay so we start round three chain one and now into the first stitch half double crochet into the next one half double crochet one into the next one half double crochet one into the next one half double crochet one i have one two three four half double crochet now it's time to increase so into the next stitch i'm going to do two half double crochet into the same stitch and i have to do that every time after each four stitches till i reach the last stitch which is where i put the stitch marker and then i finish my round with another 24 single crochet on the back side of the brim okay i did all my half double crochet increasing after each four stitches now i reach the stitch marker and i go on doing 24 single crochet till i get the end of this round and slip stitch to join into the first half double crochet of this round on the back side no increases you see that step by step the hat begins to have its typical shape vintage style round four for the brim it's uh, very easy this time because for round four we just have to repeat uh, half double crochet one in each one of the the half double crochet of previous round no increases and then we finish with the usual 24 single crochet on the back side so it's very easy during this round no increasing okay round five for the brim now we have to increase both on the front side and the back side the only difference is that on the front side we will do only half double crochet on the back side only single crochet this time i have to increase after each five stitches so i'm going to do one two three four and five and now increase one and two into the same stitch i have to do that all the way around till i reach the stitch marker then i start doing single crochet but after each five single crochet i have to increase on the uh, back side as well okay this was my last half double crochet for the round uh, five now i'm starting doing single crochet one on the back side of the brim and after five single crochet three four and five i'm gonna increase into the next stitch doing two single crochet into the same stitch one two three four five and now two into the same stitch and 
uh, repeat the same till you finish this round okay i'm ready for round six i have to do now um, all single crochet all the way around both on the front and back side and so the stitch marker i don't need it anymore uh, so the same for all the circumference and uh, uh, i have um, i don't have to increase anymore so just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around like that okay now i will show you the last round for this model number one and then uh, i will describe you also the possibility for a second model with a wider brim on the front side uh, because we will do just one, one uh, yes just one more round uh, to make the brim wider so for the first model now i have finished and i just have to do one complete round of reverse single crochet all around like that and that's all after that i will uh, finish this round cut the yarn and close the work if we if we want to do an additional round to make the brim wider we can do that and this will be the seventh round in this case we have to do all single crochet all the way around and in this case um, we have to increase after each six single crochet all the way around after that we will do the last refining round with reverse single crochet okay for the flower decoration do a foundation chain of 50 of course you can use the colors you like now after your foundation chain of 50 you have to do single crochet one into the second chain from the hook and now single crochet one in each stitch across the row totally 49 single crochet at the end of this row so a second row yarn over skip the next one two stitches into the next one double crochet one chain one again double crochet one into the same stitch chain one double crochet three into the same stitch chain one double crochet four into the same stitch chain one double crochet five into the same stitch now skip the next one two stitches into the next one single crochet one repeat yarn over skip the next two stitches into the next one double crochet one chain one double crochet two chain one double crochet three chain one double crochet four chain one double crochet five skip next two stitches into the next one single crochet one go ahead like that till the end of this row okay at the end of this row you can cut the yarn and close your work and the decoration flower is ready now you have two possibility you can roll your flower like that and form and shape a kind of rose flower like that 
and then apply on the side of your hat otherwise you can create something like that sewing on the surface of your hat this way otherwise you can apply your decoration on your hat like a swirl or something like that you see and then sew it in this way for example this is another possibility okay i fix with some pins my flower on the surface of the hat and now i'm ready to start sewing the flower at the hat in this way till my flower is perfectly fixed <laughs> 